day everyone welcome to mjc creativity today i want to teach us how to make a bow with our cranial net uh, i don't want to cut my net because I, I want to make like triple layer three layers bow that's what i want to make you can make single just watch as i'm doing it this is your net uh, i've been just fold it in fold it in like this then you gather it at the middle you gather it at the middle let me do it one more time i have my net here fold it in like this fold it in like this gather it at the middle so this is a single layer bow single layer bow you can just use one layer depending on how much you collect uh, you can just do one layer so if you are doing one layer 15 inches of net is okay but now I want to do another layers on it. If you cannot manage this screen on your net, you cannot handle it. You can tie as you are, you can sew as you're doing it. But I think I'll be able to manage it. So I want to do another, I want to do another uh, layer on this one. So you just, just watch, just fold back like this. Fold this again. See, I have two layers now. I have two layers now. I want to do three. Do this, I want to do three. So you do, you do another folding. You see. Then you do like this. So I have my three layers bow. Only this bow is okay for a fascinator. It's okay for a fascinator. So you cut it. Okay, let me show it first before I'll cut it. Before cutting it. So you take your needle and thread. If you are using thread, you know I'm using yellow color of net. You use yellow color of thread. But I'm using uh, my fishing line 0.35 hem m for the fishing line so you just sew at the middle so at the middle this is my bow depending on how you want it to be just say one drama here now you see you can pull the thread very well see it forms another beautiful style like it's forming a bow comb something like like that like that or you can leave it flat like this just tie it in you can leave it flat if you want to leave it tight let me make it tight so you just pull it very well and uh, uh, sew it well sew it well sew it well So I've secured it well. What I need to do next is cut off the excess. Cut off the excess. Cut off the excess. Cut off the excess. So we have this now. Don't forget we have our crinoline in cap uh, that I want to use it to decorate. You can place it like this. It will look like this. It can be like this. It can bend like this. Anyhow you want it to be. So I want it to be like this. So you just try to secure the two together. Secure the two together. Very well. So this one is just sewing of a thing. So, you see how beautiful. Good day, everyone. Welcome to MJC Creativity. Um, I want to teach us how to attach our Harley's band, how to attach our uh, triple layer uh, bow, crane, crane on bow to our Harley's band. So this is my Harley's band. 
this is my bow, red meat bow. I have my needle and fishing line, or you can use your needle and thread. If you are using thread, make sure you use yellow, the color of what you're doing, or any color of what you're doing. So just sew it together. That's just the trick. There's no any big deal there. Just place it first and see the position you want it to be. Then you do the sewing. Make sure it is very, very neat. Neatness is key in this work. Neatness is key. If you don't want it to be like down like this, you can place it, place it up or any how you want it to be. Neatness is key. I'm done attaching it. You just cut off the excess thread and tie it together. Tie the two fishing line together. Very well. Thanks, Mrs. Sign.